Hello there. Chef Simon Maple here with Well Built. Uh, I can't believe they made the highest camera angle for the shortest chef here. But what are you going to do? Hey, let's go to camera one. How's it going, everybody? So you can't have a holiday meal without potatoes. But who wants just basic old mashed potatoes, right? So today we're going to do an upscaled, kicked up version of it called Dutch's potatoes. But you got to start every potato with a certain thing, right? That would be bacon. So what we're going to do is we're going to cook the bacon in the mini combi. The great thing about the mini combi is it has three different modes of cooking. So the first mode of cooking we do is going to be called convection or hot air. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to use hot air to crisp it and cook the bacon. So with the Comfitherm Mini, you can set the temperature, which we're going to set at 338. You can set the time, which we're going to do at 10 minutes. You can either do full fan or half fan. And finally, crisp and tasty. Crisp and tasty is a unique feature to Comfitherm, which allows you to pull moisture out of the cavity in order to create a dry and aired environment to crisp up products. We're going to set that at two. We're going to start this. And now the oven is going to preheat. We'll be back in just a moment. So in just a few short minutes, our oven has been preheated and now it's asking to put the bacon in the oven. Two stage door handle for safety. Bacon in, slam shut door. As you can see, timer's here, timer bar around. In just 10 short minutes, we'll have the perfect bacon for you. So 10 minutes later, I present to you, heaven on a pan. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let that cool a little bit. And for the next process, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to steam some potatoes because we have to mash the potatoes to form them for the Dutch's potatoes. So our second cooking mode in the Comfitherm Mini is steam. Up here to the steam icon, we're gonna cook those potatoes in superheated steam at 240 degrees Fahrenheit. In this environment, that steam is going to take about 15 minutes to cook those potatoes completely. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start the oven, let it preheat, and be ready to go. Oh. So as you can see, we pre-cut the potatoes, had them soaking in some water. That's something you can do the day before uh, to try and lighten your load for cooking. And as you can hear in the background, the oven is ready to cook. So what we're going to do is we're going to come around here. We're going to use two-stage door handle to vent any steam that might be inside of there for safety reasons. Basket goes in the middle, slam shut door, and in 15 minutes, we'll have great potatoes. We've let our bacon cool for long enough, so now we need to chop this. We need to chop all of our ingredients pretty finely because it's gonna go through a star tip. For those of you who don't know what a star tip is, I will explain to you later. What we're going to do here is we're gonna chop this Nice and fine. Next thing you know, we're gonna, we're gonna put it into our container to use in our potatoes later. In just a few minutes, we'll have perfectly steamed potatoes, and then I'll come back to you then. So 15 minutes has elapsed, and I'm betting, with all of this steam, that these potatoes are done and ready to go. You can see here, potatoes are nice, hot, and ready to go. Pro tip, when using a ricer or food meal, make sure that the stuff is hot. It goes through a lot easier to make sure it's hot. What we do is we're gonna put some of these in here. Bring this down, lock it into place. So what we're doing here is we're running the potatoes through the bottom of the food mill to create nice, very smooth, even potatoes. Now that we've finished ricing all of our potatoes, we're gonna add some ingredients. First thing, all the bacon. Next thing, cheese. Cheddar, please. Next thing, butter. Whole, whole lot of butter. 
And finally, a little bit of cream. I hadn't put enough fat in there already. What's a little cream? Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna mix all that up. Our final ingredient is going to be egg yolks. So you might be asking yourself, why egg yolks? Egg yolks do a couple things. First of all, they help bind it. So when we actually pipe the potatoes through the bag, they actually keep their form. Second, they add a nice richness to it. Put that in here. <clears throat> We're also gonna add a little salt. We're also gonna add a little salt and white pepper to taste. Give it a stir. Get those egg yolks nice and incorporated in there. Now that we've incorporated all this, we're gonna give it a taste just to make sure the product we're serving is good. Those are perfect. So, in order to make these really pretty, we're gonna use a star tip on a pastry bag. So we're gonna fold a little bit of this back. I'm gonna scoop this in here. So this is kind of a messy part. So that's why we roll the edges over, because after I fill this, you'll see why. <clears throat> so we've got about half of the potatoes that we've cooked in here. We're going to squeeze it down, get the air out, tighten it up. We're going to put the potatoes down in a little rosette. So now we have our 12 rosettes. So the la what we're gonna do now is we're gonna set the oven to combi. So this is our third style of cooking. Combi takes a combination of the steam, which we've already used, and the hot air. The reason we mix them together is water vapors actually transfers heat energy a lot better than air does. That's why air works so good as an insulation for your coolers, for the stuff in your attic. So actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of moisture into the cavity. People think, wow, you're going to add moisture, you're going to get all wet and soggy. Actually, steam is a dry gas. So when we're using that gas, we can actually brown the tops of these as well as heating them up and crisping them up. One final step, though, we're going to do, more butter. You can always use more butter. So all we're going to do is we're going to brush the top of these lightly. We're going to set our oven, combi, 375. We're going to do that for 15 minutes. So every oven's different. These commercial ovens operate a little bit better. If you're at home, it might take a little longer. You have to just watch to make sure they brown, but do not let them burn. We're going to start this. This oven's gonna preheat, and as soon as it's preheated, we're gonna put them in, and you'll have a wonderful side dish. As you can see, our oven is preheated. Now we're gonna add our Duchess potatoes into our compactor mini to brown and finish off. Two-stage door handle. And then we're just gonna finish with a little green onion. And if that doesn't wow and impress your family, you need to find a new family. Happy holidays from Wellwell, and have a good year.